about this Pokemon? I like evolution. I, I do want it. Evolution. It was not a Gen 4 evolution, was it? Oh no, it's not. I mean, its stats are not bad. And it do got the moves. Never mind, I was wrong the wrong generation. It has, it, it has moves. Hello everybody, my name is Finnick Flyer, and welcome back to episode 4 of my Pokemon Emerald Hardcore Roulette Lock. Uh, this episode, hopefully we're gonna try to get through Petalburg Gym and maybe get to be able to fight the gym leader. I'm... I don't honestly think we're going to fight the gym leader this episode. That might end up being next episode because of time. Uh, but anyway, uh, team recap, here we go. In between episodes, I did try to download PK Hex and get my Eevee to be named and get it to full happiness that way. Um, but I tried to open PK Hex and it wouldn't work. Um, it wouldn't, like, it just, it wouldn't, it wouldn't open my computer. It was, like, blocking it. So I'm gonna figure that out later. Um, in between episodes, I did just run around a lot and... Eevee is going to be evolving the first Pokemon we fight, so that won't be any different. It's just unfortunately unnamed. Um, my, 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 my Eevee's nickname is Espeon once it evolves. There we go. Um, so here we go. All the Pokemon are the same. I did also, um, I don't actually remember. I think I grinded Tauros up to level 7 in between episodes. I think it was level 5 last episode. Sorry, brain fried. I just ran around for like... 20 minutes for this espion right here. So anyway, let's get to the up. Let's get to the episode. First thing I want to do is go to this grass and just evolve Eevee real quick into espion. It's a deli bird. And all the time I was like in the grass because I kept having every time I was like running, I was coming back to check if Eevee was gonna evolve. I never found a deli bird, but we found Shady. So I'm gonna tackle the bird. Oh, it hit. Uh, tackle the bird. Um, get XP, level 10, and... What? Eevee's evolving? I didn't know! Crazy! So there we go, Eevee evolving into Espeon right there. So we have a special attacker. Some psychic type. There we go. Um, I could have just evolved it in between episodes, but I wanted you guys to be able to see it. First first evolution of the series, come on. We got it, we got hype. Okay, and also while I was running around, I did accidentally trigger Scott, but you know, he just talks to you and goes away. So, um, how many Pokeballs do we have right now? And also, my Pokemon are healed. How many we have? Two Pokeballs and one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a Pokeball real quick. Maybe I'll get another Master Ball where I found it before, you know. That's so sad that we lost the run that I had a Master Ball in. I probably should have just used it to buy, to buy, I'm just, I'm looking at the screen. I probably should have just used it to, um, oh. I'm gonna see if I can battle any trainers to get some more Pokeballs. Um, I probably should have just used it for one of the Pokemon I found because I was really low on Pokemon. That probably would have saved me if I had, but I didn't, so we can't really change any of that. We have a new run with an Espeon and a Jackson. Um, I'm gonna... See if I can... Did I battle everyone here? I think I did, because I was training. Um, I'm trying to get some more money so I can buy some more Pokeballs. I think... Can't you go to the right of the town and isn't there like a trainer there I'm gonna see cuz I need some more pokeballs I need some more money um because I'm worried I'm not gonna catch a Pokemon in like three pokeballs in a premier world no what town is that what um that's the I have like the thing in my brain is that Marvel like, I don't know why I thought that. I knew you couldn't, but there's some town that just, like, has just, like... Because I, I remember when I found it, like, I, I never, like, explored that area, so I didn't know where it was. But it's, like, to the right of the town, there's, like, a little beach and, like, a jump off and then just, like, a person that you can fight. I think, I think there's two people. I think it's supposed to be a 
double battle, but I don't quite remember. I don't know, I think it's in this game. I remember it with these graphics. So when I find it, I'll be like, oh, hey, that's the town I was talking about. But anyway, oh, let's go into the beach. Let's battle the people on the beach and get those items. Uh oh, yeah, true. Oi, hey, 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 hey. There we go. Leaving for Prince in the Sand is fun. I spoke about that last time though, so. Okay, so artist Chloe. I did, I randomized the names and the um, descriptions because it's fun. Oh yeah, I forgot you have drought. So much drought. Andrew would be having so much fun right now. The <gasps> ah. sunlight do be strong. Does moonlight heal more health in intense sun? I don't think so. Did I say moonlight? No, not moonlight. There's another morning sun. Does morning sun heal more health? In sunlight? I don't think so. I think that's just like synthesis. Because I don't think they do that because it's the opposite of moonlight, which is the first one I said. So they wouldn't- I don't think they'd do that. I'd be like, oh yeah, you get a boost, but you don't. Because it's like two opposites- two like opposites of like the same move, you know? Um, growth. I don't think- I don't think I'm scared of that. I'm just gonna take this- take this guy out. I learned Rage. Hey, I have the move that I had before, so hey, I can catch some Pokemon. So anyway, let's go... There we go. A Water Stone. I think I still would have chosen Espeon. That's kind of funny though, that's kind of really funny. A Nugget! Money, 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 money. That's really funny that I found that there. I think that I would still do a Premier Ball. I did get a Pokeball. I did get a Pokeball. Um, yeah. I don't know. I like Espeon more. But having a Water type would be really good. But Psychic type is a really good typing. I think I still would have chosen Espeon if I knew that was there. Not gonna lie. Okay, so Tackle another thing we don't have to be scared of like all of the fishers in this one because they're not randomized we will find out what it's like at the bottom of the sea later in this episode um so i'm gonna how much money do i have i keep pushing the wrong button um i have enough for three pokeballs i think i'm going to battle the trainer i was scared of before because i'm not really as scared of are you gonna I'm not really scared of her right now. Drought Zigzagoon. Ah, uh, it's not gonna kill. You're gonna use your full restore. Aren't you supposed to have more of those? Like, you're renowned for having like 50 of them, or is that just in- is that like what they do in like, Kaizo? like an emerald kaizo that they just make her have like 50 million two petra berries i'm gonna i need to get my pokemon items so they have them what items do i have pink scarf um no i can sell that potion that doesn't do anything water stone nugget um no none of those so i'll just give them berries um petra i'll give them orange berries give Jackson, Ornberry. Bro, I wish I still had the leftovers. I really wish I do. Did I was getting so such good items that run. Like, I don't know what was going on, but those items, I got a Master Ball, I got leftovers. I got Shell Bell, which like can be good, not as good as leftovers, but it was crazy because I got it. Like, and I got that before I got leftovers. So I was just like, wow. Just like his healing items are good, especially when I can't heal in battle. Um, heal my Pokemans. Okay. Um, and. Let's 
go to the Pokemart, get some Pokeballs. Do I have any potions? I have four. If I can get ten. I'm gonna get five. Because I want another potion or two. Okay, there we go, and two more Pokeballs. Okay. So let's see what we're gonna get. Do I have in front? I kind of, I think I wanna put, yeah, Jackson in front, cause Jackson has rage. Ah? Ah! I'm so used to like playing with one hand, but oh, a Swablu, that's dragon. Um, I'm so used to playing like with one hand, but this one that I'm using like has the. It uses both sides of the keyboard. I need to just I need to map my controller. I have a controller, I just haven't been using it. I don't know why. So let's get the Swablu. Um, rage, but careful because the rage builds even when I have attack and an attack in between. How much is that gonna do? Okay, so I can do two of those. Rage. Okay, cool. If I switch out, does it reset? Like, I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna risk a crit anyway, but just wondering. Like, if I switch out, does it reset? I feel like it would. There we go, we got a Swablu! Um, what am I gonna name the Swablu? Cotton Bird Pokemon. A Pokemon that has wings like cottony clouds. After enduring winter in which little food is available, Swablu flocks move closer to towns in the spring. That's nice. I'm gonna name her, I like Swablu. Swablu looks so cute, it's just so plump. Um, Isabel. What did I? I'm so bad with this. I thought I pushed the A button. I pushed the B button. Where's the name raider in this? I'm failing this. Like, if you could lose Nuzlocks for not naming your Pokemon, we'd be on run three. Two for two, fifty percent accurate. Name raider. Emerald. Slate Fort City. Okay. It's fine. We have Isabel and... Or, I don't know. If I have enough people leaving comments by that time, I'll let someone... If someone in the comments wants to name my Swablu and my Espeon by the time I get to Slate Port City, I'll accept it. I'll see. I'll just see what you guys want it to be named. Oh, wait. This is another encounter. I almost was like... Oh, Togepi! I, mean, I you couldn't have like come out a little bit earlier before I just ran around the entire place for like fifty. I don't know what fifty. It's like twenty minutes, but still. <laughs> anyway, I mean, I like Togekiss. I I do want it. Wait, is Togekiss? Togekiss is in this. Togekiss was not a Gen Four evolution, was it? Togekiss Emerald Oh no, it's not It's just Togetic I mean, its stats are not bad. Its speed and HP aren't good, but like, it's got 85 defense, 80 special attack, 105 special defense, and it do got the moves. Never mind, I was wrong the wrong generation. I realized because it's a fairy type. It has, it, it has, 
moves. It's only attacking move as metronome until level 41. If it was fire, I'd leave green and get magical leaf as an egg move, but that doesn't really help because it's a toga pee right now. I'm really gonna have to use, I randomized team compatibility, I'm really gonna have to use them on this. And I have HM complete compatibility, so I might have to just give it HMs to survive. Togepi's not better, Growl Charm, Met Metronome. Let's see if this is gonna work on it. Yeah, it just learned Metronome, so it does know Metronome, it learned it, like, this level. I'm probably just gonna keep... Unfortunately, Toge Togepi is probably going to be a fodder Pokemon. Spike Ball Pokemon. It's an it's it's a baby in an egg. It's called a Spike Ball Pokemon. Spike Ball's a game. Imagine playing Spike Ball with a Togepi. That's I don't want to imagine that. You're going to have egg shards all over. The, that's not good. I don't want a Spike Ball Togepi. <laughs> as its energy as its energy uses the feelings of compassion and pleasure. Ex Exuded by people in Pokemon. It stores up happy feelings in its shell, then shares them out. I love that. That's so cute. I don't want to spike ball you. <laughs> yeah. Um, what? I clicked A that time. I clicked A that. I swear I clicked A that time. I like. I th And I had a name for that Togepi! It was gonna be a funny name! I'm so upset. I'm so upset. You do not know how upset I am. Uh, tang! I mean, I wouldn't have caught it. But Metagross is one of my favorite Pokemon. A lot of Pokemon are like one of my favorite Pokemon, honestly. Like I said in response to the, um, the question of the day in episode one, a Palming Berry. Uh, my favorite Pokemon is Absol, kind of tied with Zora, and then I love Metagross. I love a lot of Gen 3 Pokemon. I love Metagross, I love Salamence, um, I love... what else do I, re like, really love? What am I- I'm looking at the wrong thing. Let's look at the summaries of these guys. Summary, Stench, helps repel wild Pokemon. I mean, yeah. You're holding a Thunderstone? Did they just know- <laughs> These people know he has an Eevee. Give him all the stones as soon as he evolves it into an Espeon. Like, again, I think I probably would have chosen Espeon anyway, but, like... What is going on? <laughs> what is happening here? Oh my gosh. So you have Stench, you have Arena Trap. Is that- I have Arena Trap- Oh, you- Oh, wait, I didn't- Own Tempo prevents confusion. That's cool. I'll take that. Negates weather effects. Wait, so how does- because Cloudine, I've tried to use it before in like a randomizer and it didn't work. What happens? Like, like for the Zigzagoon, do I have to switch Jackson in on the Zigzagoon? Or does it just like negate the effects but the weather is still there? Because I've tried to use it before and it just didn't get rid of it. Prevents fleeing, helps repel wild Pokemon, that's... I'll run around again in between episodes and evolve this Togepi or I'll figure out how to get PKX to work. One of the two. It'll- it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, so, let's take your item. Receive the Thunderstone. Let's see what this item is. Calcium. I was like, if that's a freaking firestone, I'm gonna lose it. Lose it. Another Togepi. I'm going to do training soon. I think I'm going to go ahead and get through. I'm gonna go ahead and get through this, um. Forest here. I forgot he- why did I forget he turns? I'm gonna go ahead and get through this forest here, and then I'll do a grinding cut. So this guy... Wormhole. I don't know how I'm gonna train up, um... Spike Ball here, though. 
um, because just there's no moves. I'm not. I don't want a metronome explosion out. Like, what's gonna is gonna be bad. I'll probably just like switch train until he's level like five or six. If I have like the XP to spare on my other Pokemon. You, I wanted to switch out. I need to go back to the Pokemon Center real quick. I think I'm, after this battle, I'm gonna make a cut and go back to the Pokemon Center just so you guys don't have to watch me just running around to the Pokemon Center. And then I'll come back with a healed up Swablu so I can actually use her. So I was gonna name the Swablu Isabel. I was probably, honestly, I'll probably just name the Togepi Spike Ball. But again, like, unless, unless you guys, like, have names you want to name them. Okay, so I've healed my Pokemon, and let's put Swablu in the front. Actually, I want to... I want to take the Ornberries away from... Espeon and I can't do this from Espeon and Jackson because I want to make sure they don't pop for because I want to give it to them for the gym. Numble. Okay, so that's gonna be. I don't think I want to peck a numble. What's this? Yeah, Papa Berry. Oh, that's one of the ones that like heals you. It's not like I think it pops after, like at like a quarter of an HP instead of like a third of an HP, and it but it heals more than a citrus berry. I think. Sorry, my brain fried there. Um, it heals more than a citrus berry, I think. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and peck you. Um, please get a crit. Please get a crit. These Togepi's are the safest ones to grind against because you know they don't have any moves. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna grind here real quick. I'll be right back. I'm back. I walked up a little bit too far but anyway i'm back i did a little bit of training i got swablu up to level seven um and here we go let's do this battle right here yes there we go battle me team aqua artist forest assist 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 swablu against apuchiana i'm gonna peck because i think one attack from the Puccino will be fine. Howl. I'm a growl. Yeah, fight. Heck. Sane attack. Sane attack. Heck. It's just sane attacking. It'll be fine. Okay, the last one was a crit, of course. So there we go. We got you, and I got a great ball. Okay, so I'm gonna take you out of the front and put Jackson in the front. And I'm gonna skip you guys real quick. Bro, come on. Absol is my favorite Pokemon, and. I could have had one! I could have had a Duke or Duchess! That's what I named Absol. Because they're awesome. I got those names after they got Mega Evolutions, though. They look so majestic. I love them. I don't want to kill it. But I'm going to. This is in my way. That Absol better not be a sign. Disaster gonna strike. No, it's not. Absol, you come with me! I want to catch you, please. Uh, we gain from its death. Okay, so you tricked me last time. There we go. Um. Oh, I got another. <laughs> you didn't even need to give us a great ball. We just found one on the floor. 
Now we have two though. Okay, what are you? Chikorita. Okay, I'm gonna not attack you. There we go, got away safely. Let's get another encounter up here. What are two worn berries? Nope. Okay, so my Pokemon are at. I'm gonna heal real quick, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna make another cut to go heal because I think I'm gonna use Swablu to catch a wild Pokemon, so I'll be back. Okay, so hello, I was dumb and I ran past this guy instead of walking carefully, so he's attacking me now, so it's fine. I have my Tauros out. We'll take him down. I was gonna use him for grinding later, but nah, I'll just grind in the wild. Um, so anyway, I also forgot to tell you the last time I came back, because there are marsh stomps in this forest, and they have sandstorms. So I found out that, um, I answered, I got an answer to my own question, that, um, Cloud9 does, like, the, the weather effects are still there, but they just don't do anything, because I wasn't getting hurt by the sandstorm, even though I'm normal type, so I should have. Um, I just wasn't getting hit every turn. Every turn. How many? I didn't check my Pokeballs. I have enough. Okay. Um, so let's see what I'm gonna get. Hopefully no hyper-beaming licky tongues. <laughs> okay, an next attack. That's cool. An Everstone. Sure. Money. A Pattaya Berry. What's that? Um, let's see what it is. A papa berry. Yeah. It, like, it confuses you if you don't, if you have a certain type of nature, is the thing. Uh, friendly below is base HP. Friendly below is Bedef. Raises special attack in a pinch. I'm gonna give that probably to Espeon later. Because Espeon has a plus... Oh no, it's plus special attack minus speed, isn't it? I'll see. Um, what are my Pokemon? Wait, I didn't get any encounters there. Wait, I have... Let me see something, because I think, I think I saw something in between episodes. Oh yeah, this is still Route 204. Whenever I have done Nuzlocke's, like, on my own, I've been counting that as the same... As a different route, as a separate route, because it's like, you know, before this forest and after the forest, but it's actually the same one, because the one below the forest is also actually number 204. I'm... I turned off my ninja skills. I just... I turned them off. I turned them off. Hello, sir! Gymnast Landon. There was a kid in my elementary school named Landon. He was, like, the fastest runner. That's just, like, what he was known as. He was super tall. He had really, like... Toned ankles? You know, if that makes sense. Like, you could tell the guy had ankles. There were no cankles on that man. Like, the complete opposite. Like, just bone. Um. Because I would end up, um, when we were running on the track, you would, like, um, just, like, lap everybody, but there was this one time, I would not do it now, but there was this one time that I just, like, got really competitive one time, and I was, like, right on his heels, and everyone was watching us run, and they all, like, stopped running, and they were watching us, and they were like, oh, what are you, let's go, let's go, it was crazy, I didn't win, I almost won, though, we were just racing, I was going, um, nowadays I don't run, nowadays I have ongoing shin splints that I'm trying to get rid of, that, I don't know how they started. They just did. I don't even run too much. That was like in el like, I want to say in second or third grade. So imagine like little like seven, eight year olds. I think third grade's like ten. So just like nine, ten year olds just running around a track. Um, Shroomish. I'm gonna go to. I should have you out. I should have um, Swablu out.
can get you some levels too. I'm doing a lot better this run than I was last run. Last run, I was struggling. Like, I love Katie. That mining was awesome. But I just... I, I ran into a ground top. I couldn't do no, I couldn't do nothing. Shroomish fainted. Swablu got stuff. Defeated Crystal. Okay, so I'm gonna go... That's the wrong direction. So I do have to fight these two now because I do have more than two Pokemon in my party. So what I'm gonna do, I explained it a bit last time, but I'm gonna go through... I'm gonna get to the gym. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do this time, because I have enough Pokemon, is I'm gonna go into the gym and clear out the trainers in the gym. And I'm gonna leave the gym leader until after I get my encounters and after I do all the stuff. Um, and I think that that's also going to end up being next episode that I do it. I think I'm gonna end this episode in front of the gym. For you guys. So I'm gonna fight, tackle the Lotad, and tackle everything. Everything gets tackled, tackle, tackle, tackle. Ooh, you do some damage. You're also higher level. And then um, in between episodes... Um, I'm gonna see what time it is, because I've also... I don't know, because I want to be able to... I want to be able to just grind up at the end of the episode and just start next episode off with the gym leader, actually. So I think I'm probably... I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna clear the gym leader, the gym trainers out, and oh, thank you for doing my now, because that would've been bad. I'm gonna do the gym leaders now, and then the gym trainers now. I don't know. Um, I'm just looking at the time. Okay, here's... Mm. Here's the best option, I think. I think I am gonna go get this item. What is this? A rare candy, that's cool. One extra level, one level less of grinding. I'm gonna get this level, I'm gonna go up to the gym leader. Gym leader, I keep saying that. Now go heal. There we go. And I'm gonna start... No, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode off right here because I also just remembered, so this is a rock type gym and it's not randomized, so they all have rock types and I have two tackling Pokemon, a pecking Pokemon, and a Pokemon with metronome. So I'm gonna end the episode off right here. Next uh, episode, we're gonna go ahead up north east and get our encounters and do the Pico cave. And then hopefully we're gonna take off the gym and hopefully we're gonna be able to pass it. So thank you guys very much for tuning into this episode and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Goodbye.